After a bit more filling and sanding, we've got her pretty smooth. So all going to get fiberglassed over, so a couple of little low spots here and there are not the end of the world. But the idea is to fill in that gap and to get it nice and smooth and coved on the top so it's got a little rounded edge. All getting ready to be fiberglassed. Give it a good wipe down with acetone to make sure there was no dust or debris to get in between the fiberglass and the next layer. Starting to look like a boat. And more fix it all on the front here. The idea is to cover over any of the styrofoam and fill in all the gaps as the fiberglass resin will absolutely dissolve styrofoam. By asking around I was able to obtain a bit of styrofoam. I found that it's good to start accumulating materials ahead of each one of these next phases in the project. The idea here is to just provide a little bit of sound muffling. I don't want the deck to be like a drum when you're walking around on it. You can see the little fiberglass puck supports that provide structural support between the top of the pontoons and the bottom of the deck panels. But again, we're just filling it in with styrofoam and then the spray foam. And then coming back and coving it in a little bit and then adding a layer of the fix-it-all, which is uh, absolutely resistant to the fiberglass resin. Again, the point of inserting the styrofoam between these supports in the deck panel is not for structural support. It's to help to muffle the sound when you're walking around the deck and also to provide a backing force to come in and fiberglass because we want to connect those supports to the deck panel. This particular side of this pontoon has a little bit of a wobble to the edge. So this area is going to require a bit more work to fill it in and fare it out. As it turns out, this is the very first pontoon that we built and as it goes with a project like this by the time you get to the third and fourth surface you've mastered the process a little bit better but never fear we'll get this all figured out this process has been taking a while because I've got to apply layers and layers of this fix it all material and then allow it to cure and then add some more layers and allow that to cure. You can see the difference in color as we come along here, the lighter color being the most dried and cured. Now it's time to glass over the front of the deck and I've got the area cleaned up with acetone. Here you can see the three layers of 1708 that I've got prepared. The first layer covers over the gap with a couple of inches on either side. The second layer covers over that layer and so on with the third layer. Looking good. It's really nice to see the deck connecting with the cross supports underneath. Once the resin's cured on the front here, I just come in with a sander and knock down the edges.
bit by bit and layer by layer, we're filling in that erratic junction between the deck and the sides of the pontoons. The goal, of course, is to give this a smoother, more faired side. Now the back end is glassed over. Getting close on this last side, after quite a bit of sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding, we've really smoothed out the lines.